hey guys good morning welcome to another vlog do you ever wear new clothes and you're like why did i wear this because it's uncomfortable and anyways um i'm waiting on a showing right now i've got two showings and then i'm gonna go home i need to eat some lunch and I really want to do something outside, so I'm going to see if Mike will go get some soil to plant some flowers. Because I just can't be bothered with that. I'll plant the flowers. I'll probably end up watching him plant the flowers. But I just want to be outside. Um, so yeah, this morning was kind of a shit show. Just dealing with some stuff. You ever feel like some people are just really ungrateful for what you do? For them not gonna get into it but just be grateful in life okay be thankful for what you have be very grateful for those who try and help you if you're working with someone and they help you with things just be thankful life is good so yeah, I am gonna do these two showings right now, go home, make some lunch. I really need to grocery shop. I feel like I've been saying that the last four days, but I really need to get some groceries. And then go outside and do some stuff before I have to finish work tonight. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm home, I'm about to change all this shirt because it's pissing me off. Making some tomato and red pepper soup for lunch and some tuna sandwiches. But Mike wanted me to get on here and confess something. Hi, my name is Jessica and I am a... Habitual paper towel waster. Habitual paper towel waster. I mean, technically I use them over and over again. Okay guys. I will take a paper towel, use it, leave it on leave it on the counter, think I'm gonna use it later, and then go get another paper towel, also leave it on the counter, also think I'm gonna use it later, and then I just end up with paper towels everywhere that, you know, I'm gonna try and be less wasteful now that I've confessed. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, we're gonna eat lunch, and then Mike said he's gonna go plant flowers for me. What? Okay, still have to persuade Mike. We'll see how good lunch turns out, and then maybe I'll go plant flowers for me. So, I'll see you guys after we eat lunch. Step one, admitting you have a problem. Well, there's... And ending at step one. <laughs> there's only step one, because I'm not going to stop using the paper towels. <laughs> no. crap everywhere. I think I'm being less wasteful by, like, leaving them. But I'm not. So... What are you most excited for this year? Because I already know your answer. Go the puppy. No. The F1 race. Go see my king. The wedding. Our house renovations to be done. Ooh, the garage would be nice. Are you more excited for your garage to be done or the F1 race? I'm more excited to go see the king. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm excited for our house renovations to be done and the puppy. Because I don't give a fuck about the F1. I don't give a shit about the F1 race. You corrected your potty mouth with more potty mouth. <laughs> it was less bad. I hope your grandpa watches this. Oh, I hope grandpa doesn't watch this. Come say hi to the vlog. You just want more tuna. Say hi. The tuna's not over there. Nope, not over there. She hates your lips. Nope, over there. Say hi. You're gonna have another car named pet with you. People are gonna think I name all our animals. Our animals are named after cars. Except Kelly. And Mike didn't do it. I did it. I named. I named Ajara. And we're not gonna reveal the name of the puppy yet. By the way, we're getting a Doberman puppy, if anyone cares. Or if anyone wants to follow along, we pick it up in about a month now. I think a month and a week. But Mike's gonna go pick out the puppy because there's three females. He's gonna go pick it out in two weeks, two to three weeks. Yeah. And then we'll bring it home. 
Aren't you excited to start paying for another animal? No. You know the dog beds that fit that big dog are like a hundred dollars. Did you just try and pass it? <laughs> yeah. Again? I corrected myself. Really Guys, funny. YouTube is making me not cuss anymore. And by making me not cuss, I mean I'm trying now. So I did the math in my head because of how much we normally buy versus how much we have for the racks. We've got one that does like 36 shots and then another one that does like 18. Yeah. And how much we buy, we would fill that up and then still have to shoot off some random. But with Andy adding to it, I was like, we're going to need another rack. So it was another $160. So, Mike gets really serious about 4th of July parties, and you guys will see that this year. And by serious about 4th of July parties, I mean he doesn't care if people come or not. He's going to get <laughs> thousands of fireworks to set off. Last year, we had our good friend Andy in town, and we had every single car and golf cart in our neighborhood and on the island parked, like, down the street from our house. They were all lined up and watching the fireworks, which was nice because they weren't complaining. <laughs> um, so Mike's doing even more this year, and I think Andy's coming back this year. We spent like $900. $900? You were with me when we bought it. No, I wasn't like paying attention to the checkout. I wasn't either until we got in the car. $900 in fireworks. You know how many things I can buy with that? Because you don't get spoiled enough throughout <laughs> the year. All right, we're gonna eat lunch and we will catch up with you when Mike's planting flowers. What? Yeah. Home Depot because I wanna get some plants and some soil to start planting some stuff since it's so nice outside. Mike's yelling at people for leaving the carts in the middle of the parking lot. It's really not that hard to just return the cart where you got it. Also, it really, really pisses me off if they have it right next to someone's car and it's gonna slam into your damn like, car. Look, there's a parking, or a cart parking right there. And yeah. she puts it right here. Cart park is right, you can't see there. They should charge like $5 and then you get it back when you put the cart back. It's so annoying. All right, we're gonna go get some plants. We got Callie with us. I wanna get a succulent for that little blue pot to put on the porch. to go on a family one next year. Like they're going to scout out the places to stay. 
Groceries just arrived. I just got a few things to last through the week because then it'll just be me. But balsamic vinegar for salads. I'm gonna make a beef stew tomorrow. So I got beefy mushroom soup, La Colombe coffee for the beef stew, red peppers for salads, gravy for beef stew. I forget whose channel had this oatmeal cookie creamer, but they didn't have the regular and whoever had it on their channel said this was super, super good. So I'm gonna try that. And then this is the regular creamer that Mike likes and it froths really well. Bananas for smoothies, bread for obviously sandwiches, cucumber, lettuce, tomato for salads, carrots for the stew and for snacks, spinach for smoothies. Um, this is meats, chicken, and beef for stew. Feta cheese for salads, potatoes for stew, green beans for dinner, and then some frozen fruit for smoothies. Mike's favorite coffee. And I got this to try, single serve concentrate cold brew. So I thought that would be good. If anything, it'll be good for future travel, so. Why is she being even right now? <laughs> you can't run at the camera. Why are you being a heathen? Huh? Why are you being a heathen? It's almost dinner time. In like an hour. Fuck off till then. Ah. Oh, oh she's scared. It's okay. okay. <laughs> you wanna be the star? Cat videos get more likes than me, it's okay. You wanna be the star? I don't have anything for you. Okay, gonna put these groceries away and make some dinner in a little bit. Trying the oatmeal cookie creamer. I approve. Taste test with old snacker over here. I don't like the oatmeal stuff. No, it's oatmeal like cookie flavored. It's not oat. Oh. Like vanilla or caramel. No. I like it. Anyways, having afternoon coffee. Now I'm gonna finish putting groceries away and make some dinner.